Hello, I wanted to show you today uh, some more work that we can do for keeping our backs in order and also strengthening our abdomen. These are a little bit different exercises than you get uh, because I, like I have mentioned before, I have a strong background in, in dance and so a lot of this comes out of the way that I was trained, a lot of different things I've modified a little bit and they work. I've also taught a number of stretch and conditioning classes. Um, there was an experience that I had with the health club that I went in and did my thing and then they left. They didn't want to hire me but the a good number of the people in the health club were going to commit mutiny if they didn't hire me so the classes were very effective and people liked it so I'm going to just continue to share that. That was many many years ago and so now at the age that I am I just want to help people that are a little bit older to be able to uh, stay a little bit flexible, a little more movable and also people that have been suffering from illnesses of various kinds and are unable to get out and jog or run or do those sorts of things because it's important to, to take movement into consideration for the overall health of what we're doing. So to start out with is I want you to be able to sit on the floor if you can as much as good as you can. You can put a pillow underneath your um, rear if you need to do that and I want you to start by putting one leg wherever you can in front of the other like the Indian style uh, sitting and get comfortable you want to sit very high on the sit bones and so um, both of those bones and the hips that you want to sit on and you want to feel like you're pulling up and back from your head so you're going to have a long stretch up and back shoulders are going to be relaxed and resting on top and just place your hands on your on your knees to start with and what I want you to, to visualize and, and move with it is imagine that there's a big bubble or a big ball that's pushing into you here and so you're going to round down in the waist area and then you're going to pull yourself back up so you're just going to rotate it down and back it's very 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 easy you go slow with it so what's happening here is actually the ribs. It's as if you have little suspenders or little clips of elastic and you're letting the elastic come down together, ribs and hips, and then straight up again. And then down again. And down. And up. Okay, now that's the first stage of it and you just can do that a few times because that's going to be rounding and straightening. You want to just move and you're isolating, you're isolating the, the, the lumbar and a little bit of the thorax, but primarily the lumbar. You're just isolating that bit of the spine to curve down and you're feeling your stomach really pulling into that back as you're doing this and up, okay? So that is how I used to warm up and I still do warm up the back. Okay, now we want to do it on the other side because the hips are in different position. So you want to change the legs. And this feels really weird because we have kind of a dominant and recessive side, if you will. So here we go again. We, we're gonna do it on both sides and you're gonna feel a little bit difference in your hips. You can tell one hip is usually a little tighter than the other which you can see here as I I'm way out of shape compared to how I used to be and that's okay I'm going to continue to keep myself as movable as possible so we're going to bend down and up doing that alrighty and then the next piece to this is we're going to change the legs back and all this you can work with yourself and you can also put music on and just kind of do it to music. But now we're going to make the work a little bit harder. And by doing that, we're going to just take the arms and we're going to just put them in front of us as if they're floating on something like a little, imagine there's a big air pocket here. And so you want the image of a floating so you're not like lifting up and doing that kind of thing. You're just lifting your arms up and then placing them on that ball and floating. Now, take a note. What is your chest doing? Is it, is it up, upward? Are the shoulders resting on that? 
uh, just resting on top of there, on top of the rib cage. Is your neck pulling you up and back? Do you feel very straight? Are you on your sit bones? And then again, we just roll back and up and back and up. And you can go slower, fast. You can, I'm kind of doing it a little quicker than what you may want to start with. So you're just going to have to do where you are at. The thing is, is it's not important to, um, you know, to get it far down. It's more important to keep the, the alignment of your body. That's the really important thing. So there's that. And then you can change the leg position again so that you're working it on both sides. Up, floating again, and then rocking down. Feel that abdomen pushing. It's actually feeling like the abdomen is pushing your, your back into that rounded position and around and up and around. And you're gonna feel a whole different feeling when your arms are up is when they're down. Okay, and then there's a third level that you can do. I'm gonna crisscross them again. And the third level is taking the arms, floating them up high. You can just float them up. You can let the elbows bend. You're just gonna hold them there. You're not gonna, don't need to stretch them, but just like imagine that you're resting your arms on something there. Um, maybe a big bubble or of something that's not hard, something that's floaty and kind of fluid. And hold those up. Now you want to make sure that the arms are being pulled back so they're not too much in front of you. So wherever you can pull them back, it doesn't matter the distance. We're not trying to grunt ourselves into a position. We're just trying to get where it's comfortable and hold it there. Get the alignment up and back from the head, sitting on the sit bones, letting your shoulders relax, letting your chin be level with the floor, and then you do the same thing. Push that abdomen in and lift it up. And push the abdomen in, and then it's like pushing the back forward then. So the abdomen pushes in, and then the back is pushing back with that. And then you can switch legs again. And one more up, place those arms on that whatever you are imagining, a countertop, but that's a little hard, make it a big ball, and then down and up. Be sure you're sitting on the sit bones. Be sure that you're pulling your neck up and back. Let your shoulders relax. Let your arms float along with this. Your arms aren't doing anything. They're just riding with the in and out of the back, the flexion and extension of that little back. Okay. So that is gonna help. When you come to rest, then just kind of work yourself around, wiggle a little bit and work out. And what you're gonna feel is you probably feel that your heart rate has gone up, a little cardio, cardiovascular work. It's not really like the cardiovascular work is, but you will increase your heart rate a little bit. And you're gonna probably, some of you may break out in a sweat because holding that posture is the challenge it's the harder thing to do. I watch a lot of people go through exercises and they're so out of alignment, but then they start to develop crooked on those bones and muscles. And then what happens with that is, if you're going to develop crooked, then eventually you're gonna wear out the joint or the bone. You're gonna create other problems with your muscles because they're pulling in, a, in an abnormal direction and they're not placed right. So it's very important, even if you can just sit, if all you can do is just sit and hold that in that straight position. If that's where you're starting from, start right there and hold it. You can just hold it and then just go a little tiny bit. If it's just even a little tiny bit, it's okay because it's about developing you on your alignment, on your structure. So there's one thing to do with the back. And now that you get the abdomen a little stronger, the feet are gonna be on the ground. And then again, get yourself nice and strong and straight and you're holding. And now what you're going to do here is you're gonna roll down to the floor one vertebrae at a time. If you can, you, if you, I'll, well, I'll show you as we go. I'll let you know as we go how to do it because I'll talk your way through. But this is, this is gonna go slow and you're gonna be controlling everything. So again, you're gonna push that in, push your stomach in with that ball, but you're gonna come off the sit bones into the, into the coccyx and you're gonna to begin to roll back one vertebrae at a time. You, let's start by just kind of holding onto the legs. 
one vertebrae at a time. Now keep pulling that abdomen toward the back and round down. Now you're gonna see your upper back is gonna to begin to curve and you're pushing that low back as much as you can into the ground. You're gonna feel it in your legs. You're going down very slowly. Now here about this position is where you drop out of holding with the hip flexors and you're moving more into the abdomen. And then you just roll yourself down very gently and let that head come down last, keeping it pulling up and back. Okay, then you can breathe and rest a little bit. And then you wanna start by starting and rolling the head up, keeping it long, keeping the shoulders relaxed, engaging the arms coming forward. You can grab your legs if you want or keep your arms forward. Hollow that abdomen in and come up one vertebrae at a time. Begin to straighten the back up and lengthen as, you're, as you come back to the sit bones. Let the back go into a nice flat position. You can do that a few times. And then when you get a little better with it, so I'm just gonna show you, you're rolling down on this one. And then the next level of this would be to come up into this position to here, take the legs off the floor and then lift up into what's called a V-sit, flatten the back and just hold. From this position, if you're ready for it, you can hang on if you want to, but from this position, if you want to, you can begin to stretch out and then come back in and stretch out and you're holding everything in place. The only thing that's moving, your hip joints are moving a little bit, but the rest is relatively still. Place the feet, come up, flatten back and shake out. So there's a couple little things you can play with along with the things I've showed you earlier and give it a try. And uh, you know, there's a saying that says you're only as old as your back. So it's really important to keep that back in a really good working situation because the back is important. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy it. Break out into your sweat and have a good time with it. I'll see you later. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the thumbs up. And I think there's a little bell up there that you can hit that you'll get a notification every time we post. So if you want to, you can hit that too. But thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.